Uh, hello, welcome back to another King of the Hill reaction. We're on season one, episode nine, Peggy the Boggle Champion. Okay, this is actually quite an interesting sounding episode because I've never really played Boggle, so I can't, I don't, don't even really know the rules. Also, I swear to God, like a couple episodes ago, she was playing Boggle at the start of it, which I guess that was kind of, you know, foreshad subtle foreshadowing, even though it was probably unintentional. The episode title is pretty self-explanatory. She's obviously like, you know, becomes the Boggle Champion. I don't know if it's like a tournament or what, which I mean, if there's a Boggle tournament, that's actually kind of both hilarious and amazing. But I mean, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Let's just get into this. Now, oh yeah, the oh yeah, this, really quite the neighbors, wow, they've been in pretty much every episode since the introduction. Oh yeah. Ba mi tam yum. It's gotta be a real word, honey. Yes, ba mi tam yum. Thai spicy noodle soup. Tasty and delicious. And it's, yeah, it's, I was about to say, it's probably like an actual word in their language. It's the ninth annual Dallas Mower Expo. Be oh, for a second I thought it was a mowing competition. I just said that's insane. Thrill to the oh, hell yes. Of the snapper precision mowing team. Sea King Mulch. What the Take fuck? Texas, oh. Pile up quick. Over 10,000 oil paintings must be sold. Okay. What the hell does that got to do with Lord Mowing? You know, the Elks are having a boggle tournament to raise bail money for their treasurer. Oh. Maybe you should enter. Okay. Me? Oh, fish. Yeah, I honestly, enter. Men, you owe me $13. Thank you for buying. But they're actually betting real money. Honestly, I respect that. That's amazing. Bring your checkbook. <laughs> Hank, I'm thinking of entering a boggle tournament over at the Elks. Boggle? Boy, the Elks will do anything for a dollar. <laughs> Are they still playing that game where the cows got to drop dung in a square? What the Boggle fuck kind of game like is that? Bingo, Hank. Boggle is a game of wits. Now, okay. Bingo is a game of so I'm guessing Boggle, from what I've seen, I could be completely wrong. Do you just shake it and look and have to try and make as many words as you can with those letters? Oh, little sick boy. Would you like for me to find your name in the next Boggle? Mm -hmm. Okay. If she manages Boy, to do that, that's kind of incredible. And very fucking coincidental. That's why they call her your better half. <laughs> Who calls her that? They. <laughs> yes, very specific. I hope that your leg gets better real soon, Zachary Quinn Jr. Okay, well. <laughs> the fact that she was able to actually do that is kind of amazing. Goodness, congratulations. You won. Wow, that's a full-on fucking trophy like for that. Someone's going to have to clear some room on his trophy shelf. Fuck me, though. That's a massive ass trophy. That's MVP trophy. What? Mom's trophy. MVP of what? Oh, poo. I don't care about the trophy. The real honor is getting to represent Arlen in the state boggle championship. Wait, what? There's, you, there's another one? Oof, that's so exciting. Yeah, that's actually kind of amazing. Hank! Shh! <laughs> it's 4 a.m. <sighs> I go back to bed, Aunt Peggy. I need to get eight hours of beauty sleep and then write a paper on it. Okay. In a minute, honey. Now, it is very important that we know we can trust you two. Now, no parties while we're gone. I mean... Okay. Mm. Bye -bye. I, I, yeah, I was about to say, I doubt Bobby would have a party, but then she... I guess Luann could. Michael Boosters. I'd like to present you with this jacket. Uh -huh. Oh. Good luck, Peggy. W-I-N. Oh. I That's actually kind of cool Derek looking, King, though, to be honest. Mr. Lube and Rivera Sump Pumps. Oh, even though I have no idea what the fucking things, are, like what's actually on it. Welcome to Dallas. Yes. <laughs> Is he fucking looking? I don't know much about Dallas. Is it actually filled with like fucking like insane people? Is he doing what they do in fucking what's it called Home Alone? It's okay, honey. Valet parking is included in the price of the room. I don't like the looks of this one. Honestly, am I the only one that thinks that valet parking's fucking weird? And, like, I don't know. I wouldn't trust random people to drive and park my car. I'd be too worried that they're going to steal it. Like, even though they work at the hotel and all that. Okay, this actually is a fucking amazing looking hotel, though, to be honest. Oh, Joan, this is my husband, Hank. Wonderful. We have tons of the activities to occupy your time while Peggy plays Baggle. You look like you could use a wallet. Would you like to make a wallet? Okay. Uh, I don't think so. Harley Davidson already made one for me. Now, Hank is not just my husband. He is also my coach. Oh, my God. Is he going to have to be forced to stay here because... <laughs> yeah, on, I don't Peggy. think Hank's going to want to wait there. Is Hank going to be, like, forced not to, to stay there and not go to the fucking... Lawnmower expo thing now because since he's the coach. Peggy, it's Sissy Cobb, okay. battle champion of Dallas for seven nine consecutive years. Why does she look so fucking fancy? Oh, uh, excuse me, Sissy. I am fellow boggle champ Peggy Hill. 
My, my, what an interesting jacket. <laughs> Did you patch that together yourself? Well, I... actually, it was given to me by the Arlen Bogle Boosters. They got local businesses to sponsor my trip. Oh, oh shit. Oh, that's, okay, that's, actually, that's what it's for. Why, I didn't know what those other patch things were. Rags to riches story. <laughs> okay, Jesus Christ. I hope she loses. I hope Peggy be like beats the shit out of her. In Bogle. Oh, shit. I was going to say there's a lot of people here, but didn't they say oh, there's like 300 people competing? Was I that was that the other tournament? Ever since I reached ages eight and up. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll see you at dinner. I got to get to the mower show. Well, you can't leave now. You are my coach. I need you. Okay. You of all people should understand. I am at state. This is my moment. You know, okay. I, close my eyes. I have a feeling she's going to lose, but I fucking hope that other person that was like me to... <laughs> Before the Dallas champion would ever lose this as well. Arlen, with that big ass boggle trophy mounted on the hood of your old truck like some beautiful gold plated bare breasted rose okay. royal angel. She's well, getting when right I into close this. my eyes, I see myself at the mower show. And you're there. Come on, at least be somewhat supportive a bit. You, you could probably, even if it's only for like an hour. Oh my god, of course it's her. Well, hello, Patches. Patches. You must be here for your boggle lesson. Lesson? Bogglers, take your marks. God, I hope she fucking wins. I mean, I could understand her being nervous as shit. Though, because it, out of all the people, of course, it was her. Oh, come on. Is she like... Come on. Um... Fucking... Figure something at least, and you ran out of time. Sissy Cobb, 73 points. Peggy Hill, your words, please. Um, dang. <laughs> <laughs> dang is not a word. That's just some backwoods patchwork. Wait, oh, okay. Winner, Sissy Cobb, oh. 73. I didn't feel bad for it, but yeah, she definitely did let this girl get into her head. <laughs> <laughs> I am so stupid. I mean, oh, you're not stupid. <laughs> Heck, you're smarter than me. Yeah, I mean, yes. Oh, big deal. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, you're smarter than anyone else in Arlen. Well, what do you do? <laughs> I am the smartest hillbilly in hillbilly town. <laughs> I I'm trying, Peggy. I just, hey, you know. I mean, yeah, based on like a couple episodes ago, we were away, he definitely isn't the best at comforting people when they're crying. You're a loser. Okay, Are Jesus you feeling Christ. sorry for yourself? Well, you should be, because you are dirt. Um, you okay, Jesus Christ, drink, I don't baby. think this is going to help. A big dirt bottle? <laughs> Why are you yelling at me? <laughs> oh. uh, yeah, what the I'm hell is he doing? I'm trying to be your coach. I, it's, it's inspired. Be your fucking be his husband. Wait, did she get to play again? At least if it... I am a loser. I am 255 out of... No, you just had a one bad game. I'm sure if you do it again, you'd be fucking amazing. Hank... No, oh, hey guys. Uh, <clears throat> what are you doing with that purse? I'm holding it for Peggy. Uh huh. Hey, Come Kate. on, man. We're missing the mower show. Let's go. Is he gonna, you know, choose not to go to be supportive? Which maybe tomorrow. What's going on here, Hank? I got a pretty good dang old idea what's going on. I tell you what, man. It all... <laughs> that was probably the most I've ever understood Two that guy. Two days ago, you were like a little boy, all excited about the mower show. Now you're this strange man holding a purse. <laughs> Which is it, Hank? Are you some kind of man? Or are you a little boy? I am still a little boy, damn it. And I'm still excited about going to the mower show. Come on, let's go. Oh, uh, come on. Did you seriously get yourself like, get pee pressure? <laughs> Winner, Peggy Hill. Oh, I don't believe it. You played a great game. Wait, what's she actually for to get to the fucking... Why, how did the chicken and get allowed in? The blade from Sling blade. What the fuck is the... Well, the... Liberace's mower, no flash photography. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is he going to start feeling bad? Which, I mean, he kind of should. At least, you know, to be supportive. Oh, man. <laughs> the fuck? Woo. 
Is everything he's reminding him of fucking Boggle? I mean, at least she's doing good now. I fucking hope she get, she fights that other girl again and then, you know, fucking beats her. I did it! Guess what, Hank? We are going to- Oh, he's not even there. I tell you, I haven't had this much fun since our last football race. I, I don't trip. think Hank's having fun. Remember? I feel like the kill is getting to, stay, to him too much. No peg was there. Remember? Yeah, I remember. Cheering her heart out when we were down 28 to nothing. Is he going to actually wear the shirt? I'm sorry, Peggy. We have to start the finals. Okay, as soon as I find my husband. I mean, coach. He's probably just refilling my rosin bag. Oh, don't kid yourself. He's probably just too embarrassed to watch me beat you again. Oh, my God. Oh, and if, I... That's right. <laughs> Patches. Looks like it's you and me in the finals. <laughs> Come on, I hope. God, I hope she fucking wins. Hello and welcome to the Texas State Boggle Championships. We're coming to you live on the Dallas Grand Plaza Hospital. Because yeah, especially with Hank not being there, she's gonna get you know. It's all gonna be in her head. Her she's gonna be in her head for ages. Sissy Cobb is off to an excellent start in round one. Okay. Peggy Hill hesitated. That's going to cost her at least a four-letter word. <laughs> There goes Peggy Hill's pencil. Okay, surely that you'd think that they'd fucking come up with better pencils than that. We're in the final round of this championship match, and Peggy Hill is far behind. Okay. Peggy, Peggy Hill is down to her last pencil. She has no more pencils in reserve. Okay. Everything how many, rides on how many pencils do you get in reserve? Which happened? Surely. You... Oh. oh, this is awful. I think it's all over for Peggy Hill. Oh, I do feel bad for her. At least Hank's coming to be supported. Hank, where the hell have you been? It doesn't matter where I've been. I figured out where I should be. Yes, I mean... Now, let's show them how we play Boggle in Arlen. Whatever you say, coach. Oh. Okay. Oh, yeah. Tough just from chewing the pencil. Holy shit, though. She's doing pretty fucking well. Peggy Hill was riding up a storm, but will it be enough? Fuck me, though. She's like nearly half. Chinchilla, harpsichord. Oh, that's the only words, okay. What confidence. She wrote harpsichord, but <laughs> not harp. And not chord. Oh, a very bold gambit. Okay. <clears throat> Surely she has a fucking Fish. better one. Fishes. Slaw. Peggy Hill Soil. is using the opposite Soil. strategy. A long Soil. list of short words. Honestly, I feel like that would be a better strategy than just three massive words. <laughs> Ain't is not a word. I win. Okay. <gasps> it ain't ain't sissy cob. The word is acquaintance. Oh shit. Okay. As in, it was not my pleasure to make your acquaintance. Oh fucking bird. Honestly, I agree with that. The go. Imagine if Peggy was like in the her, like in in it from the start. She would have fucking beat the, the shit out of her. That was actually that entire episode was honestly pretty wholesome. I was kind of worried that Hank wasn't going to get there in time, but of course he did at the end, and you know it gave her the Peggy the confidence she needed the win because she would have smoked the shit out of that other girl if she was in it from the start. Because I'm guessing that she was just intimidated just because that girl was very like hostile. Is that the right word? And wasn't very nice in that when they first met, and then you know it, it got in her head like in the first round. I'm so glad at the end there that she did win because. I honestly think that strategy is so much better, having like a bunch of small words and then, you know, the one big massive word at the end, because of course that's going to get you more points. The more, even if it is small words, like having a bunch of small ones, you'd surely, that would, in my opinion, seem like the better strategy. Like surely you'd be able to get more shit down. No, but yeah, I mean, I'm glad that Hank went back because he clearly wasn't even enjoying that fucking lawnmower thing anyway, because he felt bad for pretty much like abandoning Peggy. And of course he let himself get fucking peer pressured into going. When he like, it didn't even seem like he wanted to at first anyway because he wanted to stay and be supportive. So he didn't even like watch any of those other rounds or even really know like what was happening in that competition. But I mean, at least he, at least he went th at the end there went and you know, gave the encouraging words or whatever. I mean, I don't really know what else to say. Overall, that was a, honestly, I really enjoyed that episode. It was a very simple plot and all that, but it was... It honestly written really well. I mean, he may not be the most comforting person or whatever, but like, he definitely is supportive when he needs to be. And I'm so glad that he was in this episode. So I'm going to leave you here. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye-bye.